Happy Monday, everybody. It's uh, Soap Battles Day 3, and we're still on Soap Commander. And today, I, I'm still choosing what I want to use each day. I think the next round, when I go into probably PAA, I'm going to do just draw the hat. Because uh, it's getting really hard to pick what to pick, because I love all my soaps. I like a lot of them. You know, there's a lot of emotion to them and that kind of stuff. So it's hard to be like, oh, I really love this one. I don't want to pit this against that. So it's getting a little hard, but today I picked bigger Battle of the Florals. So once again, Love, after round two, is in the lead, bringing in Renewal. So we'll see how those uh, two pair up together, or pair off together, battle each other. The rest of my loadout is my Featherweight. Actually, I forgot to grab my aftershave. Sorry about that. I will go with the Modern Fogier by Country Club. And then I've got my Smoke 1305. Decided to use that after watching uh, Khan's video on the Smoog today. So let's get into this. Pour some bloom water over the knot. I need to let that good stuff go to waste. Let's start loading up. Now I've used the soap a few times already, but I figured, hey, you know, let's let's let the florals battle it off. Um, figured it was the right thing to do. After this, I've got resolution, purpose, or excuse me, resolution, passion, and uh, wisdom left to go. Not sure uh, what I'm going to use next, but like I said, I think next time I'm just going to grab a hat and just start drawing from a hat from day one. Uh, that way it's kind of uh, probably the last video of this I'll go ahead and uh, draw for the next next series what will be soap number one because it is it's really hard I, I, I like my soaps I don't keep much in my den that I don't really enjoy uh, so it does it makes it kind of hard to uh, decide what to use very fresh We'll say the scent strength of these two to me are different. Obviously, my nose is a little accustomed to the the renewal because I had that blooming while I was in the shower just before the video started. I took the lid off of Love, so they're both right below me, and the floor the uh, the rose scent wafted up to me really quickly. So, but once again, my nose is already established to resolution, or resolution to renewal. All these R's, Renewal, Respect, Resolution, good load. Okay, let's go to it. Nice wet face. Con talked up this 1305 and I agree with everything he said. It's a... Uh, Great brush for the price. It definitely gets uh, much softer the more you break it in. And uh, at the end, I'll quickly show after I uh, rinse it off. I'll quickly show how I uh, have found really helps breaking in a uh, a bore knot faster. I did it with my 2000 and that thing broke it really fast. And a little bit more water doesn't, probably don't need it, but I know it can handle it. Nice luxurious lather. A little soap in my hands. Alright, let's get to this. Once again, using the featherweight shave, I think it's seven with this blade.
Sometime today I need to start uh, preparing for a uh, Bible study on Wednesday. I'll be uh, leading it this week. So yeah, uh, prepare myself. It's uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Do a little, read it a few times. Get an idea what uh what I think it means and read some uh, different takes on it. David Guzik uh, has some good uh, commentaries that I like to read. Among others. whiff of the scent as you wash it off. Sorry. Unlike yesterday with the uh, respect I'm still smelling it now as I'm applying on second pass or to me the respect it just uh, even though it's a really strong scent for some reason to me it kind of fades in my mind maybe because it's more of a uh, I don't want to say one note because I know there's two different smells in there but it's to me it's a more one note I will say love does have a uh, to me once again my nose is different probably but uh, it is a love is a stronger smelling soap it's very robust this is a little lighter Got a struggle. Um, I've got two packages showing up today. One is my uh, newest brush coming in. And then uh, the other is a star razor that I've yet to see that uh, Don the Navy Goat um, sent me. Forget exactly how he said it, but he said he used it one time and it was not for him. So you know, fellow uh, single edge lover, he offered it up to me. So very generous of him. One thing I like about soap commander is it can handle the water so you don't have to dry your face off each time after you rinse off. It's not saying it's a thirsty soap, it just uh, really handles it well. Does make it a little messier, but. 
Still got plenty on here. Pass three. This is going to be a tough call. It really is. There's a... I'm going to start talking about it now because I don't want to run too long at the end. I have an emotional response to the smell of this soap. There's memories to it. I can I can place myself in areas where I've smelt this before. Not that I can't do that with the love, but it's more my childhood, I guess you could say. Where love, stronger scent, which I typically prefer, stronger scent. I'd say this is weak. But then this also offers a complexity to it because there are there is more to it. There's the floral, there's the woodiness, there's the fougier scent to it. Quick feel around. I don't really see myself doing much of touch-ups today or that I probably would need to yeah. one tiny little spot I do touch my chin frequently throughout the day for whatever reason so if I miss that area so I do the chin one more time doesn't need it the whole thing but might as well That and like this part of my jawline, for some reason, I always touch. But mainly my chin. All right, cold water rinse real quick. And I'm also gonna rinse my brush off so I can show you how I uh, take care of that. mode it's got some water still on it. I'm gonna shake it off hard as much off as I can I'm gonna take my towel put it in my hand and I'm just gonna scrub back and forth so I broke in all my other smokes or my 2000 I should say because it's the only one I've gotten since then but it does two things for me one dries it much much faster if I was gonna take a bore brush with me on the travel I would definitely do this. It splays it out really good. It fans it out. Um, and it definitely, it will go ahead and break those hairs in a little bit better. So it'll cause the ends to split quicker. That's just my experience. And then uh, I forget who I learned that trick off of. Somebody had mentioned it before. But so that brush is all done nice and you know dry. Just going to sit straight up now. On to the aftershave real fast. Country Club Modern Fougier. Was going to use the balm, but that's right behind my camera. And I like this modern Fougier as well. Different scent profile, but. All right. Now onto a tough choice. I knew this was one was going to be tough. On one side, we got the love. Strong. It's a very vibrant type smell. Something we've all we've all smelled before. Then I got the renewal. Man, this is tough. 
my nose and my typical scent profile tells me love is the winner because I do I like stronger scents it lasts longer third pass with the renewal felt it dying on me uh, scent wise love was there but then the the heart of me the memories which is what I really start feeling shaving is about for me is the experience of it and what it makes me recall tells me to pick renewal and it's weird probably a couple months ago love would have won just because that scent strength was so much more important to me but today what I've learned in the first year of shaving it's about that emotional response to me it's about what it makes me feel and I feel home in the spring when I use renewal so renewal is the winner and this would be winter I don't care what time of year I'd be putting this matchup on this would win because it gives me that emotional response that was whew, that was tough guys I, uh, I I really just talked that through as we were going right there I really honestly wasn't sure what I was gonna do I smelt them both beforehand it was extremely tough but came down to that emotional response everybody seek out that response in your shave products today or tomorrow in the future I pray you guys have a wonderful beginning part of your week. God bless you all, and we'll see you tomorrow.